What's going on guys? JSGC Football here and we are here for another vlog. Today we're doing another away day. We're heading to Coventry, the Coventry City away. It's Coventry City taking on my brother's team, Preston North End. But before I do crack on with this vlog, make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, you want to help to support my channel, then do subscribe. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. We've smashed past 100 subscribers, and absolutely no reason why we can't aim for 200 subscribers now. Plenty more away day vlogs, plenty more football vlogs for you guys to look forward to as well so do subscribe if you haven't already also don't forget you can go and check out all my links and channel links and social media links and all that there in the description also don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video like comment share subscribe and we'll see you on our trek to Coventry. We are just heading to Coventry in the car. It's actually, fun fact, our first ever away day in the car. Sharing the driving, Aaron's doing the driving at the moment. I'll be driving back from Coventry. So I just wanted to go and give you a briefing on Coventry City. Uh, so they formed 138 years ago in 1883 under the name Singers FC. We're heading to what I know as the Rico Arena. Its actual name is the Coventry Building Society Arena. Like I said, I do know it as uh, the Rico Arena. Their nickname are the Sky Blues. They're a club based in the West Midlands. And today, Preston are taking over two and a half thousand fans. It's a big do. I can't wait to get this vlog uh, right underway for you guys and see what Coventry City away is all about so we'll see you on the drive and we'll see you in cov for this great hopefully fingers crossed away day how's the drive going aaron pretty all right actually it's, it's not too busy on the m6 so far so i can't complain touch wood it stays like that it's it's made, made, good made of plastic it. don't say that don't say them I things touch wood here then there okay you. fabulous <laughs> yeah correct m6 is all right at the moment it's what just past 10 o'clock, we're estimated arrival for... Uh, happy to be there before 12, I've been, before uh, midday. 12, yeah, midday, we've made good progress. Yeah. What we're going to be doing there, hopefully? Uh, so, we're like reviewing the food down there, as we say, the atmosphere. Value for money as well. Value for money. And I might check the casino out if it's open as well. Do let me know. It's a broken casino right next to the Rico Arena. I call it Rico. I don't care what his name is. It's Rico or something. Rico Arena. So it's quite unique, really. The casino right next to the stadium. So if you get a bit of time, I might check that out as well. So it'll be right in atmosphere, food, pricing. Is there any more right here? Uh, we do atmosphere, value for money, and food and drink. That's what we'll be looking at today. The calling point of the M6. Walsall. Right, we have arrived in Coventry. Haven't we, Aaron? Certainly have. Which means score prediction time. So for me, it is 1-0 Preston. I'm confident today. Decent. I'm going for 2-1 to Preston North End. 2-1. Um, and... I think it'll be a set piece. No, that's it. I'm going for Cameron Archer to get yeah, a goal. Archer, that's going to be mine as well. To, to get a goal any time is what I'm going for. But... Second half, as we usually get off to a very slow first half, it takes the second half to get going. Yeah. It's been a really apparent. Well, what I'm really happy about today, we've caught sunshine. Blue skies and it's ten degrees. In what's been in what's been a week of storms and everything, I've been dreading coming here at the end of February. And actually, it's not too bad. And we do have the stadium just over in that direction, just in the first glimpse of it. When I just get past this hedge here, I'll show it you guys, and that'll be our first glimpse of the Rico Arena. What we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look around the stadium, see what's there, and we're hoping we can go into the casino. Uh, like you said, if it is open, we if can get open, in. Um, I've heard mixed messages, so. We'll go and try that out and see. So, let's go.
We're in the casino. We will add, it is home fans only. So thank you very much to the gentleman up there that's let us in. We're not here to cause trouble, we're here to gamble. We're put... Because uh, I know the one who players in large groups. Large groups, or do you look like you're going to be causing trouble? We're not just two guys here to put £5 into a machine, and we're £8.70 into profit, so we'll take that. So that's my turn on the machine done. Over to Aaron now, see what yeah. he can, see if he can profit. Yeah, it's a long on. gamble, yeah. <laughs> what are you going for? Decisions, decisions, <laughs> Aaron. What are you going for, Aaron? Uh, really much. Uh, I'm going for 20. Well, the thing here, I think it's made as a casino, the Rico Arena, like that. Because it's going to be massive at Vegas vibes, like that. Because I feel like I'm back in Vegas, isn't it, three years ago. So it gives me a massive vibe for that. I'm really enjoying it, though. You're not doing very well, Aaron. <laughs> I need to take a wig. Farewell, Groves and the Casino. We've got the Mum's hot dog, five pound. Sausage roll, three, three pound, pound eighty. Mine's at two seventy. I've got a coke as well. Which one's two ninety? So overall's come to fourteen pound forty. They've taken our lid off the drink. Yeah. I don't get it. It's a plastic bottle, but there we go. No way, man, like right, that. get me. Show me that hot dog. Yeah. Show me that hot dog. The Mum's fabulous hot dog. Souls. <laughs> Probably downstairs. Oh well. I won't blow up like myself when you need to this. Have to taste. Are you typical football hot dog? I'm just going to go. All right. Okay. Are you typical hot dog? I'm on a sausage roll that's cooked. We'll be pleased to hear. I've seen some on footy scrap <laughs> where it's either burnt or completely undercooked. It's all right. It's a bit salty. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, yeah. That's quite salty. Yeah. So I've had worse food. I've had better food. I think my food review here for food and drink. It's like football food, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, nothing spectacular. They don't really, they don't have any of their yeah. own branded stuff, which is always what I'm, I'm looking for. Nothing you need. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10 right five down the middle. Ten, yeah. Bam. on the ground, Aaron. I'm not too keen on 
Tino, not I don't think. But obviously they make some rich noise, but you can see that in two ways, though, from the outside. But it's a classic modern stadium. Classic bowl, really, like that. It's very nice, but a big bowl at 32k capacity, but not overly keen on it, truthfully. I can imagine this being a quite flat atmosphere, like, like, like your modern nerd stadium. It reminds me quite a bit of St. Mary's, I like going to, well, I'm not going along those lines like St. Mary's. How yeah. about you, Josh, do you see what you think of this film? I like that it's got wasps written on the uh, side of the stadium, then obviously Coventry City Football Club, CCFC, written on the other side. Um, I like that the scoreboard behind us there is a very large scoreboard as well behind the away end. Uh, it echoes a lot in here, so hopefully that might help it with the atmosphere. I have my fears, though, like you said, uh, about this being pretty flat. I've got a feeling it's going to be half empty. And it's nice design, but it's just a typical... Yeah. Snow imagination with the ground, I like the classic. You want, you want a bit of character to the ground. Yeah. So, we'll see. Just to I, hope I'm, I hope we're wrong and it's class, but I'm not sure. Country is seen now from the championship. They've been a little bit out for us, have fallen down the table recently like that. Preston in 13th, but well, we do have good away form in the minutes, but say, uh, it should be a close contest, but I'm still confident Preston can uh, do the job today and hopefully get it. Nick a win, as we prefer playing away at FC Toronto's took over, really. But say, uh, we've only one minute detail since it's took over, but plenty on the road in a minute. So, it should be a close game, this, I reckon. But they didn't have any real club playing for a chance in really a lot of set play like that in the modern session. But uh, nil nil, how many times have you seen that this season? Nil nil half time. I thought Coventry was a better team for 20 25 minutes. Um, they didn't really create much, though, did they? And the no, I love it. Any, I love it. You worked your way back into the game and you've had the better opportunity, you've not put them away. Um, hopefully, sneak a winner. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sneak a winner in the second half. That's my bet. Come on. What an opportunity hitting the post. Chet Evans there. So, so unlucky. Liam Lindsay's been sent off. Is it a second yellow?
Time thought that we've had a good two hours to reflect on this and we're in <laughs> which service station are we in? Uh, we're in Nutsford. Nutsford. Nutsford there we yeah. go. It's a one and familiar with him of the past. Go on then, what's your thoughts? Uh, I think it's a fair result 1 1 being truthful. I think Preston may have just edged the game with like two good chances from Chad Evans. I so don't think Cotter's really had a good chance apart from that crack of the goal to equalise the last kick of the game. There's a bit of taste in the mouth. There's a bit of taste, but I'm not going to complain like that with the amount of time wasting we did. Just so unnecessary like that. Just sitting back, kept booting the balls to contrary, just kept coming back, coming back, coming back. It's just so disappointing when you've got Nathan. Ninth minute, not to hold on, even though it was a minute and 20 over the six minutes added on. So, 98th minute, they equalized. It's, it's frustrating because it's frustrating, but it's I do get there was two subs as well when you add the time up. It's but I just knew from the day, as soon as I saw that referee, I just knew, as I said it before this game started, give it a the way you blew that whistle off. I just know it. I said there's got to be a penalty today, there was, and we've had two red cards. So one for us, one for Contra, yeah, it's just tender attention and uh, pitch invasions from Contra is a poor help. Preston had theirs after the, after the goal, goal yeah. the penalty as well, so... <laughs> so it's not short of drama today, it's been very exciting, plenty of drama and that, uh, but I think a draw overall, I think 1-1 one, one just about deserves it like that. Frustrating, yeah. but Contra on top, result. yeah, Contra on top first for 30 minutes, then pressing ruins of the game. And had the better opportunities in the game. Oh, yeah. Been more clinical in front of goal, you got the three points. Yeah. But overall, shout out to uh, Grovenick Casino and the security team. So, last thing for us to do is review time. Firstly, we've already done our food and drink. Yeah. Uh, give it typical, a five out of ten. typical football food and drink. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they take the lids off, but there we go. So that's a five out of ten. Uh, next up, we're going to go for atmosphere in the stadium. What did you think? It surprised me, Contra. There's a lot of other ones. I thought it would be quite atmosphere. It's a little bit disappointing with our own fans. They did try to get going in certain section, but sometimes you get that with the large crowd. It's can't. so spaced out, it's yeah. difficult to get chance going. Especially in different areas like that, to get the big crowds, it can be a I, th I, th I thought it was a good, good band. It's a good atmosphere, yeah. Good two band. sets yeah. of fans. I thought it was a pretty good atmosphere. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10, yeah. Yeah, so we're at 12 out of 20. So lastly, £25 a ticket. I think the day includes including food, drink, travel cost from Preston to get down here, um, and all our cost included, all of our spends on food, drink, and in the casino, I think cost us just over £150. I think it's unfair for me to compare value yeah. for money based on our day, but £25 each for a ticket for an entertaining game. I think it's fair, like pressing can be 24, so I think it's very, very fair, 25. I thought it was decent value for money. We, we saw a very entertaining game. It was a good second half full of drama um, and entertainment in there. I'm going to give it a solid eight and a half out of ten. For I value agree that, for money. eight and a half, yeah. Eight and a half out of ten. That, if my math is correct, gives Coventry a grand total of 20.5 out of 30, which is decent, which works out as just under seven an overall ten. 7 out of 10 and I think that's a good summary of Coventry away. I think it's a solid 7 out of 10 away day and on the JSGC football channel my recommendation Rico Arena Coventry away go and do it if you haven't already but one thing to mention is 
so I hope the lady behind us in the stands as well, I hope she's okay as well. Uh, both me and Aaron sending all our well wishes out there to the lady that was uh, sat yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I hope she's um, okay as well. Yeah, I don't know, really know the situation, but... Uh, no, yeah, no, she's I'm fully, okay. but I know she had a bit her ball, but she's conscious and Cinder. Which is, right, which is, I hope which she is good fine. news, yeah, I hope she, hope she makes a full recovery. So, there we go, that's been commentary away and that's been the vlog. I do hope you enjoyed the video, if you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up, that would be much appreciated. Subscribe as well if you're new around here, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Aim now, 200 subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Leave your thoughts as well in the comments below, go and check out our other videos uh, with our playlist. You want to go and check out our other away days that we have done and we will see you all again very soon, I promise, for another football vlog for you guys to enjoy. So we've been JS Juicy Football. But we may be down, but we march on with Presser and good luck to country for the rest of the season as well. So we'll see you the next football vlog. Yeah. Peace. Ciao for now.